You remember there used to be a time where we would step into the theater to watch a movie. We had not seen any glimpses of it, but as an outing with friends or family, there would just be a plan to watch a movie. There was no chatter about the film, its premise or even a glimpse of the trailer unless you were lucky to watch it in the theater itself. There is a lost charm that comes with stepping into the theater, expecting particular beats of the film. This time as I stepped into the Mari Selvaraj Tamil project Karnan starring Dhanush, I was somehow transported to the time where I simply surrendered. The teaser of Karnan is an example of two things. One, the conviction of a director with his storyline and two, cherishing the essence of the film to be experienced in the theater itself. I have to confess on how much of a refreshing change this was. To just know that you will be taken on a compelling and thought-provoking journey without doing your research or homework, expecting a film to pan out a particular way. Social media that way has developed into a double edged sword where the beauty of what the film tries to offer in the theater goes away while we already have an expectation of how things will transpire i fell in love with marie selvaraj's heartbreaking story periram perumal it is a film that if you haven't seen already is available on amazon prime video and before you watch karnan it will not only bring you an essence of selvaraj's brilliant work but will provide you context as well to the world of karnan its characters and several flashing images a commentary on individuals from underprivileged sections of society that dare to change what society has structured as their destiny to simply love and dream is a threat to the men and women that sit in their ivory towers this movie comes right from the heart and trust me such hard hitting films are tough to come by when it was announced that silveraj was going to do a film with dhanush i was more excited than skeptical you might be surprised with this statement but whenever a talented director in the hindi film industry does well with his medium budget projects and has to scale with a star 9 out of 10 times it turns out to be a wreck because the story has to assimilate and fit the mold of the image of the star. Dhanush in the Tamil film industry is a beautiful synergy of art and commerce. His involvement in the project raises the scale of it, but the core of the premise doesn't constantly have to adjust to his star value. Mari Selvaraj not only gets provided a beautiful platform and scale with Dhanush where he can creatively express himself and shoot the sequences as he intended, something that was not the reality with his first film due to the limited budget. But his story of karnan never gets taken for granted the film focuses on the village of pudiyakalam considered a wasteland for some but home for others this is a very eccentric group of people that are strong headed but loving and supportive for one another they understand and are pragmatic towards the structure of society and inequalities that come with it they acknowledge the unfair treatment and animosity that exists within their neighboring village there is a simmering anger within them and they are on the edge when i see the atrocities committed towards the marginalized sections of society especially in this film i am always reminded of the iconic joker dialogue that says nobody thinks what it's like to be the other guy you think men like thomas wayne men at ease ever think what it's like to be a guy like me to be anybody but themselves they don't they think we'll all sit there and take it like good little boys that we won't wear wolf and go wild karnan is said to be loosely inspired from the unfortunate events that took place in 1999 after laborers of the tea estates of munjulai marched towards the collectorate as the teaser provides you only glimpses of what to expect in the film i would do exactly that and stop myself here i realized how important it is to integrate this into my work that movie reviews are off the film and not about it What struck me the most about Karnan is the ability to say so much with its visuals. While Periram Perumal was a commentary on the structure of society and the bias that exists with caste and the labels we put on them, Karnan is a combination of that set in a natural landscape. Animals form a huge part of the world of Karnan, either contributing to symbolism that provides a commentary on the existence of humans or act as bystanders to the chaos that ensues. The dynamic between the predator and prey is denoted by an eagle and a helpless chick, an equation that more or less is the essence of the film. A donkey's front legs bound by a rope so that it doesn't escape, more or less a mirror image of the existence of marginalized sections of society. They can move, but they still find themselves in shackles. The film successfully creates parallels and analogies with Mahabharat and King Arthur. It provides a compelling take on what is destiny and the reality that exists in wanting change for a community that has always found themselves in an uphill battle it like mari selvaraj's previous film also made me check my privilege on the differences we understand but can't get past 
I mean the privilege to love itself with freedom. We try to project our own sensibilities on how couples should be portrayed on screen, not understanding the spectrum of people in this country and the dynamic they and generations before them shared. There will be several images of the god that the village prays to and the masked presence that act as a conscience and humble reminder to the population to exactly know the horror they have sustained. Karnan has so many references that I would love to explore and dive deep with all of you, but it is definitely something to experience. I don't think I have taken down so many notes as the running minutes carried on. You might wonder whether 2 hours and 40 minutes dragged the narrative of Karnan, and there is a debate around that. I personally did not feel as if I was being taken somewhere which was familiar territory. I mean, sure, there are glimpses of the horror that was showcased in Vetri Maran's Visarnay or the character arc of one reaching his boiling point through his other film Asuran. But I was totally hooked in this film. Santosh Narayanan's music and Mari Selvaraj and Yug Bharti's lyrics made me introspect about us as humans. The cast of this film is stupendous in so many ways. Lal, who plays Karnan's elder guardian of sorts, is so convincing in his role. His boundless love for Karnan while still being a child at heart was so beautiful to see. Natarajan Subramaniam plays the wretched cop in the film that causes mayhem and acts as the perfect antagonist for Karnan to face. Out of all the supporting characters as well, Yogi Babu as a man constantly at loggerheads with Karnan and Rajesha Vijayan, Karnan's love interest, assimilate perfectly in the film. A special mention to the little kid who plays Periram as well, a reference you will get if you see Silvaraj's filmography. I mean, what can I say about Dhanush which already hasn't been shared? His ability to stand out in every film and make it unique is a testament to his talent. He possesses such boundless energy and range that I feel like he is the perfect example that young actors should aspire for. A man who communicates through film and doesn't simply feature in projects for entertainment. Anyway, the original intention of art. Dhanush as Karnan is the perfect vessel to tell this story. An image of hope and an image of defiance. And a role in a film that will be remembered for many years. I found myself weeping in the conclusion of this film and I'm not one to get easily swayed by stories like this. I don't know what it is but any sequence with a cute grandmother in Tamil movies absolutely breaks me down. Karnan is a masterpiece according to me. I know the current predicament we find ourselves in, it isn't feasible for a lot of you to watch it in theatres. But when it does go live on Amazon Prime Video, it is one of those films that you just have to watch at an instant. National award incoming again? I think so. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handles are right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.